It seems like there's a lot of debate on whether or not you should keep your someday maybe lists in OmniFocus. And for me, I don't really understand why you would not keep them in OmniFocus because OmniFocus is it's your task manager. And even if a task is on your mind and you don't want to act on it and you can't do anything about it now, but you might someday, to me it's still a task and you have a task manager. Uh, it seems simple to me that those two should go hand in hand. But I understand there's some arguments against it. You don't want it cluttering it up. Uh, but it seems simple enough to me to add them to it and find ways to simply pull it away from your working lists, which is pretty simple with the way that OmniFocus is set up. So if we look at the Someday Maybe folder, and I'm going to add a, a handful of the most common lists and the ones that I feel like you should start with. There you have it. Now, the key thing that I would do with these lists is I would make these single actions lists and then place them on hold, like so. And the reason I do that is because placing them on hold pulls all of the items out of your active working lists and making them a single actions list means that whenever you look at, say, a stalled perspective, or you're looking at some other view that is project specific, it doesn't read these as projects. It just tr it creates them as a single list of tasks. And by doing that, it also allows you to think about them in a slightly different way. And it allows you to think about them as just a collection of random thoughts and potential things to do. And the lists that I've added here, books to read, gift ideas, movies to watch, those are easily the, the three most common that you'll see across Someday Maybe lists. And the reason for them is everybody seems to want to read books, everybody watches movies, and everybody has to buy gifts in our culture, it seems. So with those three in mind, that's the easy place to start. But something else I do is I always assign the tasks that are in these the context of running. And the reason I do that is, again, because it pulls them out of the regular list and it doesn't give them uh, an actual context that I work off of. But running is a context that just means it's a running list. If I were to, if I go over to contexts and show that list and I'll see running there, that is also placed on hold. So that means that my lists of someday maybes they will always be pulled out of any form of active list that I could be looking at. Now the power of keeping all of this in OmniFocus is that you can set these up to review weekly. If you were to look down here in the bottom at your metadata, you'll see that the review cycle for this is set to review every week. Looks like I need to review it, or I just reviewed it today. And that means that whenever I go to review my projects, these lists will come up as part of the projects to review. Even though they're all placed on hold, they still show up in the review cycle. And that means that I have an opportunity to look through all of the items on my someday maybes and do one of three things. I can either choose to add to it because the beauty of keeping lists like this is they will often trigger new ideas. You think about a list of gift ideas for my wife that means that whenever I'm going through that list, oftentimes what I'm currently looking at on the list will sometimes spark something new. It's like, oh yeah, that reminds me, I've got this. And it's awesome to have a list of things that you can always be looking through. But So you'll potentially be able to add new items. Sometimes you'll see items on your list. Uh, here's another common one that I see, business ideas. This is one I easily keep track of quite a bit. And Quite often when I'm going through my list of business ideas, I'll see one or two that's like, oh yeah, I could do this too. But there's this one over here, that is a terrible idea. Why on earth did I ever write that down? And although it's a bit disheartening to think of killing some of your darling business ideas, uh, it's also a very good thing to treat this as a curation process. So when you're going through them, you're potentially going to be adding to them. You're going to be deleting some of the bad ones that you've had on those lists, but you're also potentially going to activate some of those projects. So if I use the business ideas concept and I add a task to that list, like so, which this is an actual one I had on my business ideas list because I had this random idea to turn working with OmniFocus into a full-blown website instead of a book, and that's where this whole concept started. Well, what I did 
is I activated that idea. So create new website for working with OmniFocus. All I did was I just drag and dropped it, took it, and I drug it over to work. And now I have a new project for it. It's that simple. And if I go to my business size ideas list, it's no longer there. So the process of activating a random idea that I had and turning it into an actual project is just that simple. And that's all it took for me to get the project created and start working with it. But all of that started with creating these lists of someday maybes and just starting to collect those. But if you're getting started with someday maybe lists, I would start with your books to read, gift ideas, and movies to watch. Those are the easy ones to get started on. If you want to branch outside of that, a lot of people who are into OmniFocus and they're into a lot of these specialty tools like this, uh, a lot of us are entrepreneurs, we're creatives, we have uh, you know online businesses going on. So we're always coming up with new ideas to do for our businesses. So if you're in that demographic, business ideas is probably a good one for you to jump into as well. But overall, the beauty of the Someday Maybe lists inside of OmniFocus is that you can continue to review them as you do your other projects. It helps you to set a cycle to look through them because it's easy to just let these things sit on the back burner and never go through them. If you can leverage a tool that you're already using, such as OmniFocus, it, it does enable a lot of power whenever you have the option to just float back and forth between someday maybes in your actual projects. And it's just the click of a button or it's a swipe here and there. So to me, there's a lot of power in keeping them right there. Keep them in OmniFocus, keep it simple, don't overcomplicate it, and make it easy for you to work with the ideas that you have 